It's also the first Ford that we've seen, in Britain at least, that has a Mazda engine and gearbox. And on top of all that, it's the first Ford that I can remember which looks good enough to snap knicker elastic at 50 paces. But should you rush out and buy one? Well, before we decide on that, let's go back to the green and pleasant land and see what it's up against. Accepting that BMW's coupe is something of a misnomer and that the new Toyota Celica isn't with us yet, these are the three biggies. The Vauxhall Calibra, the Volkswagen Corrado, and the Honda Prelude. They all cost as near as makes no difference to £20,000. They're all fast and they're all pretty. They're well equipped and while space in the rear is tight, they all have decent sized boots. The probe's chief rival will be the Vauxhall Calibra. And as we'll be looking at the V6 engine Ford, naturally enough, we're looking here at the V6 engine Vauxhall. It's a very streamlined car. It'll knock on the door of 150 miles an hour and can get from 0 to 60 in 7 seconds. But underneath that svelte body, this is basically a Cavalier. It even has a Cavalier dashboard. So, while it may have film star looks, really, it's no harder to run than the girl next door. Now that is its big appeal, but as a driving car, it isn't just beaten, it is comprehensively annihilated by the Volkswagen Corrado. This coupe version of the Golf with the 2.9 litre V6 motor is a sensation. Genuinely, it's more fun to drive than cars costing three or even four times as much, and to cap it all, it even makes a decent noise. This is as close as you can get to a £20,000 Ferrari. If the probe turns out to be more fun than this, I will eat my shoes. Mind you, it could have a better interior. Whoever designed this one took all their styling cues from my coal house. It's just so black. The exterior stylists were a lot less funereal, though, and it must be said, the Corrado is a handsome son of a gun. Trouble is, alongside the Honda Prelude, it has all the appeal for what? The Prelude is just plain gorgeous. It's a kind of wheeled version of Claudia Schiffer. If it was a city, it would be San Francisco. But there's no smooth V6, and clever though the 2.2-litre four-cylinder engine is, this car is out of puff at 140 miles an hour. The Corrado, in any sort of race, will walk away from it, especially through the turns. It's simple, and if they gave it more suspension travel, it would need taller front wings, and that would spoil the looks. When it comes to coupes, three things matter. Looks, value for money, and driver appeal. And between them, these three cars have got everything covered. Those who want to pose have the Prelude. Those who want to have fun have the Corrado. And those who want the ease of ownership that comes from a mainstream manufacturer have the good old Vauxhall Calibra. So where's the new probe going to fit? Well, to find out, we need to leave all this snow and ice behind and get back to the south of France. First things first, prices. Well, we don't know them yet, but it's likely the V6 model here will be about £19,000 and the rather slow 2-litre version about £16,500. That's OK, not bad value, but they may be expensive to mend, and that will make insurance pricey. But look, if that sort of thing bothers you, you ought really to be looking at a Ford Fiesta. I mean, value for money matters, of course it does, value for money matters with everything. But when you're talking about coupés, it's style and power that matter most. So let's go off and be stylish and powerful. The 
engine has two and a half litres, 24 valves, six cylinders and 165 brake horsepower. So all the ingredients are there. It even makes a sexy noise. But the probe is no match for the Vauxhall and the VW. It does 0 to 60 like them in seven seconds, but top speed is a mere 140 miles an hour. It also has a drink problem. Even on a gentle run, I only manage 22 mpg, and you have to stir the gearbox to really make it move at low revs. On the engine front, then, the Ford is good, but it's not a winner. It claws back a few points on a long run, though. It is eerily quiet, and unlike the other cars in this class, it isn't forever straining at the leash, wanting to go quickly. It isn't a dog, but if it was one, it'd be a big, lazy Labrador and not some eager little terrier. A point that's amply demonstrated when you hit the mountains. Up here, the power steering sends soothing messages about what the front wheels are doing. The turn-in is crisp, and even in hard cornering, the car stays flat and level. It's an easy car to drive fast on twisty roads because it's smooth and flowing like liquid velvet. But it isn't exciting like the Corrado, and the ride quality is poor. I think it's time now for Fordy to play his Joker. This is the Quasette in Cannes. People spend all day doing nothing but driving or walking up and down this beachfront shrine to the god of cash. Ugliness is simply not tolerated, but that's no problem for the Ford. In a head-turning battle, it'd give Brigitte Nielsen a run for her money. The front number plate wrecks a lovely face, but the side view is just glorious. It's no better than a prelude, that would be impossible, but it's as good. And that's unbelievable. It's also a cinch to drive. The visibility is very good, the steering's light, the gears are light, the pedals are light, the seats are comfortable. I like the dash, I like the way it curves. OK, there's a few tacky switches, but I like the fact it has two airbags. I like the fact there's lots of electrically powered toys. I like being in this car. I'll tell you something else, too. Although the Ford Capri became something of a joke, I think most of us now remember it with some fondness. I think we're ready for another Ford Coupe, especially one as good as this. You know, there's really not a lot wrong with this car. The space in the back for a couple of kids, well, sort of, and it's even got a decent-sized boot. So, should you rush out and buy one? Well, I've used the coffee analogy before, but there's no harm in using it again. That's cappuccino. It's like the Honda Prelude. Beautifully presented, but ultimately not that fulfilling. This is espresso. Now, that's like the Corrado. One shot of it and it blows your head off. Then we've got instant coffee, the Vauxhall Calibra. And here at the end, filter coffee. Does the job, hits the spot. It's the Ford Probe.